Well, back at the master shop and time to get this car back together. Well, today, got to put a new wheel cylinders on the Chevy, because this one's uh, started to leak. I left this side together right now, just in case uh, I need a reference. And I'm uh, going to do this side later. This side's not leaking, but I figure might as well do this side too while I'm at it. And that way I know both of them are done and that way they're both uh, new. With the cylinders I bought, these nubs, you have to reuse the old ones. So I just used the wire wheel and cleaned them up really, really good. A little quick spray with brake cleaner. A little quick uh, sand there, some sandpaper just to help clean it up. Get up that old uh, brake fluid off it. And all that gunge. Gave that a quick clean there with the wire brush. A little dab of that goo. Back together. First put this piece back in. So put that cable on, which hooks up to this gizmo for the self adjuster. And then you put that spring on too at the same time and then that keeps that all together. And then put this spring on, which also helps hold that little gizmo on that uh, the cable slides on there. Then put that spring on and then uh, you're ready to uh, get the brakes bled. This side was the side that the brakes weren't leaking. So I'm not going to spray them down with uh, some brake cleaner because they're all good to go now with the new uh, wheel cylinder put in. That's all it needs. One last thing, you got to laugh. In this box, the bleeder screw was metric. And in the exact same part, this box was had a standard bleeder screw. It's kind of funny, kind of inconvenient too. Anyways. Have a good one, y'all. Thanks for watching the video, and thanks for all the great comments. 